This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you with a review of Reverb. Reverb is basically, it's a line of juices by Mr. E-Liquid. Mr. E-Liquid is basically, you know, if you've been vaping for a little while, you've probably had the opportunity to try some of their juices. You've probably at least heard of them. Pretty big company in the E-Liquid world. And Reverb is their new line. Of juices and there's one two three four five six juices in the line we'll be working our way from this side over to this side starting with four on the floor four on the floor a sweet red raspberry white chocolate trouble a bright raspberry top note and subtle yet delectable undertones create beautiful depth and character with a robust white chocolate finish I'm not usually big on white chocolate. Uh, white chocolate never has really appealed to me in real life or in liquid, but it's very understated in this juice, which I like. It's a lot of raspberry, and there's definitely that white chocolate note, but there's plenty of raspberry, and it tastes like a raspberry truffle. I'm a big Godiva fan. Always have been since I was a kid. Um, raspberry, Godiva, truffles, have always been kind of my thing. I love those things. So definitely has, is, is very reminiscent of that Godiva dark raspberry truffle with a, with, a, with a white chocolate element to it. As you can see, I've been enjoying this juice quite a bit, quite a bit. And they're all very cloudy juices. Uh, I don't know what the PG-VG ratio is exactly. I don't believe it says it anywhere on here. Yeah, no, it doesn't say the PG-VG ratio anywhere. If I was to guess, I'd say it's at least an 80-20 VG-PG, at least. Very nice raspberry notes in there. That's that's what I really like about this juice. It's a very dark raspberry. It's it's very very tasty raspberry e liquid. And a lot of flavor. Next up, we got dark cabaret, luxurious dark chocolate blended with a lightly roasted almond, suggesting a salty sensation. Dark Cabaret finishes with a splash of sweet tart blueberries, creating a complex and decadent flavor profile. Um, this one is pretty much my favorite of the bunch out of the whole pack. It is a very, very unique juice. Um, very, very flavorful. On the nose, you get mainly the almonds with a little bit of the blueberry behind it. Mmm. That's fucking delicious is what it is. Um, you get the almonds, they are toasted, roasted, whatever. They do have that flavor to them. Um, there is a little bit of blueberry in there and I'm not a big blueberry person, okay? I'm not big on blueberries, never have been ever since, you know, we got off our, you know, starter kits when we first started. We, we were really big on this one blueberry tobacco vape and that one pretty much killed blueberries for us. We can't really vape blueberry anymore. I can't anyway, but this is very, very good. It's very light on the blueberry, um, and it's heavy on the almonds. Heavy on the almonds, uh, very, very, it's a salty, salty vape, very nutty. Yeah, been enjoying this one quite a bit too. Yeah, in terms of, you know, for me, Four on the Floor and Dark Cabaret, both of those, for me, can be an all-day vape. All-day vape. I like both those juices. I can vape them all day long. They're excellent. Um, each one of these juices I took with me for a day. So I've lived with each one of these juices for this review so I can get a, a real picture of you know, what they're like, how they can fare as an all-day vape. And I can tell you that those two juices, 
definitely do very well as all day vapes. If you're if you're, you're in that kind of flavor profile, if you like um, a bit more decadent juices, they're very decadent. Very rich. Mm, a lot of flavor. Next up, we got Dropsicle. A delicious blend of lemon, peach, and raspberry. The top note of sweet and tart lemon soars through the palate while the peach and raspberry provide weight to the flavor profile, enticing a smooth, sweet, creamy finish. I haven't vaped uh, quite as much of this juice. Um, it's not really in my flavor profile as much as some of the other ones were. I do like a lemon vape though, I will say. And this one has a lot of lemon on the nose, a lot of lemon. It's very tart lemon. Um, I don't really like how the flavor lingers afterwards. It kind of leaves sort of a, maybe a little bit of vapor's tongue kind of feeling to it. I'm not a huge fan of the Dropsicle as much as some of the others. Um, I don't really get the peach and raspberry so much in here. It's mainly just lemon. Um, and as far as lemon vapes go, it's okay. It's not my favorite. Yeah, it's just, uh, in terms of the other, yeah, it's not my thing. Just don't, not my cup of tea with the, with the Dropsicle. Um, I don't find it particularly creamy. Uh, don't get the peach, don't get the raspberry. I get a lot of lemon and this sort of, is an aftertaste. It kind of lingers in a way that's not very pleasing to the palate. Yeah. I'll pass on that one. And I usually like lemon vapes, so yeah. Pass on the Dropsicle. Dubtronica. Love this name. Dubtronica. Starting with a blend of several different vanillas and finishing with a doughy, creamy texture, Dubtronica just gets better with age. Balanced on the palate, Dubtronica boasts a flavor profile that is just sweet enough to enjoy all day long. And again, I haven't vaped so much of this juice, mainly because I liked it. I liked the juice fine when I tried it, but I wanted to see how it got with age, so I've been steeping this one for a bit. So we're going to see how it comes out. It's different. It's very, very different. Um, it's different than any other vanilla vape I've ever had, in a good way, in a very good way. Yeah, it's vanilla, sure, but there's something buttery back there, creamy. It's custardy. It does get better with age. Um, it was fine when I opened it up the first time, but steeping it for, I've had it for these juices for about a week, a little more than a week, and it's been steeping about that long. So, yeah, that's a win for me. The Dubtronica is a win. Yeah, I like that juice a lot. It's subtle enough to be an all-day vape. Very, very good. Um, it's more subtle flavor compared to the other juices, but it's a very unique vanilla. Very unique vanilla. I haven't had a vanilla quite like Dubtronica. It's really good. Next up, we got Psycho Billy. Reminiscent of a classic morning cereal, Psycho Billy blends cherry, lemon, lime, orange, and grape. Then we pour in some milk, creating the ultimate breakfast vape. Psycho Billy is so good, you will be playing it on the loop. Yeah, so just from the name, you can tell like this is their take on a Fruit Loop cereal vape. And I gotta tell you, I don't like this one, not one bit. Um, yeah, I spent time with it. I tried to like it. The little, little, almost half the bottle vaped. I just, you know, I don't care for this one. Uh, it's not. I've had a bunch of Fruit Loops vapes. This one doesn't. On the nose. On the nose, it, it, I don't even know. It's like, uh, it smells like paint. Yeah, it smells like preschool and paint. That's what it smells like. 
Um, not a fan of this particular juice. Let's vape it really quick. No, I don't like it. Um, yeah, it's a lot of lemon. It's a lot of the lemon. Um, maybe it's the lemon that they're using because I don't like the dropsicle and I don't like the psycho billy. And I'm, I like lemon vapes, but these, the lemon that they use, I don't know what it is. I don't like it. Something weird about it. It's heavy on the lemon. I don't really get the cherry, the lime, the orange, the grape. Maybe that I, that's what I get. I'm mainly getting the lemon, the lime, and the orange. Maybe they're just mixing together into something odd and they're just killing the grape and the cherry. I don't like this juice. No. Yeah, it's the lemon that they use, I think. I don't like the lemon that they're using. It's not for me. Last up, we got Trance. A crisp blend of apples paired with artisanal bakery cinnamon, a succulent crust, and a hint of homegrown liquor yields an accurate apple pie moonshine, perfect for any occasion. And this juice, mm, on the nose you get like Granny Smith apples, cinnamon, and liquor. Mm, it smells so good, so good. I love liquor vapes. Liquor vapes are some of my favorites. And I'm not a drinker. I don't drink. You know, me and Waffles, we just don't drink. We never never really cared for it. Um, but I like liquor vapes. I always have. And I love apple pie vapes, too. So it's like a two-for-one for me. If you can't tell already, I really like this juice. I really like this juice. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the best apple pie vapes I've ever had. Basically, it... Yeah, it's one of the best. I don't know if it's necessarily the best liquor vape I've ever had. But, you pair them together, it's... I mean, I, I, I forgot that it was a liquor vape, honestly, vaping it. Uh, until I just read it again. I forgot. I remembered how much I liked it as an apple pie vape. You do get a little bit of liquor in there. A little bit like moonshine, my mouth's watering from it. It's so good. From an apple pie perspective, okay, it is, you can close your eyes and you can see the apple pie, the specific kind of apple pie it is. You know, there's those really gooey apple pies out there um, where it's almost like fried apples in there and it's just gooey apple pie. And that's delicious, don't get me wrong, but then there are those apple pies that it's not so gooey. It's like a dry apple pie, in a good way. It's got like, um, just baked apples in there um, with just really, really, really good cinnamon sprinkled on top and uh, like sort of a lace sort of look to the crust almost. Do you know what I'm talking about? I, I mean, I can envision this apple pie. I know what it looks like. Um, it's like a lace crust with um, just Granny Smith apples, lightly baked, with cinnamon dusted all throughout. It's awesome. 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 Delicious. Delicious vape. One of the best apple pie vapes, if not the best apple pie vape I've ever had. I love this juice. I love this juice. It's like, yeah, this is one of the best. Can't recommend it enough. That's one of the best apple pie vapes I've ever had. Ever. Ever. Mm, it is so good. So, it's not bad for a line of juices. Uh, it definitely has a wide appeal. Um, if you were in my sort of flavor profile, you like the richer, um, sweeter, sort of decadent vapes, you're probably going to like these, okay? You're really going to like uh, Four on the Floor, Dark Cabaret, uh, 
Trance and Dubtronica. Okay, those are my picks. Those are my recommendations from this line, which is pretty damn good. I mean, four out of six is pretty good for a full line. If you really like lemon, particular kinds of lemon, I guess, I don't know, maybe you'll like these two. I don't care for them. They're not my cup of tea. But these four, I recommend all of them. They're excellent juices, excellent. They go for $18 for a 30 milliliter bottle, which is a pretty good deal, I have to say. I mean, when you come right down to it, $18 for a 30 milliliter bottle, it's priced below a premium e-liquid in my book, in my book. $20 for a 30 mil is usually, you know, what I consider a premium e-liquid, but the flavor profiles, the complexity of the juices, the quality of the juices, I would call it a premium line, but it's priced well below that. It comes out to about 60 cents a milliliter, which is awesome. For me, a huge bargain is when it's 50 cents a milliliter. So it's not a bargain brand e-liquid, okay? It's not, but it is a decent price for a premium e-liquid. Absolutely, it's an excellent price for a premium e-liquid, and I would say it's a premium e-liquid for sure. They don't go over the top with their bottle designs, um, which, you know, I, you know, usually when I'm looking for a premium e-liquid, they, they do something a little special for their bottles, but the bottles are clean. There's nothing wrong with them. Up top, it says reverb. Underneath that, it says chase it. It's got the flavor. Um, over here on the side, it's got, you know, the lock number. It's got the expiration date. It's 30 milliliters. It's three milligram nick. It's got the flavor description written on the back. I mean, it is, uh, it's well packaged. It's not, I would not say it's premium or gourmet packaged. It's, you know, just uh, generic packaging. But the juice vapes like a gourmet e-liquid. Absolutely. I would say so. A gourmet, a premium e-liquid, that's what they vape like. And they're not priced that way. Yeah, it's, it's well made. Uh, everything about it is quality. Um, no complaints. Great juice. Mmm, great flavors too. Anyway, till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on, vapors.